Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a way of creating an extremely flexible and uh, controllable RGB image. You can do it also with other color models like CMYK, but we do it just with RGB here. Uh, a black and white image in which you stack together the channels. You separate out the red, green and blue, put them together and combine them in a very controlled way. So what we're going to first do is we go down to the channels tab down here. These composite here is the picture of the overall image, which we haven't got any other layers in, so that doesn't matter. But what we want to want is this one down here, where it says background, red, green and blue. And that's because the background is the same word here. If you change this word, these words would change. So I right click on that and say create grayscale layer. So what I've got now here is a map of the red pixels in the color image. So where it's whiter, then it's more red, it's more intense red. The reds are turned up, where it's black, there's no red. As might be expected, you get more red in the face. Now the white areas, there's red there as well, of course, because white is made up of you know, full strength red, green and blue together. So let's go back to this one here. And we're going to go to the green one here. See that, let's turn that one off here. In fact, we'll, as we go, let's give them names, we'll call that one red, so we know what it is. We're going to click on the background image again, to, because we've got to go from there. Right click on the background green, create grayscale layer. And this now is a map of the green. So there is some more green in the face, because red and green make yellow, which you get yellow in the face. So click on that, type that, call that G. And we'll turn that one off, so we'll go back to the bottom one again and go down to the blue. Right click the blue, create grayscale layer. So this is darker, so that means there's less blue. Although there's more blue on this side where there's light hitting it. And so we'll just call that one B. Now the problem now is how do we combine these three together? And the thing is, you could play with opacity, but that's really messy and it's not that straightforward. Better way to do it is to literally add them up. And each one goes from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1. So if I click on the top two, shift clicking on the green to select them both, go to normal here and say, let's add them all up. But what's happened here, they've gone white because you can only get a maximum of one. So it goes from 0 to 1 or 0 to 100%. And effectively what you're doing here is you, once you go past one it can't go anymore so it just stuck it blows it out as white so i need to sort of bring these down and a way to do that is to use the curves so let's go to the red one add a curves layer here and i literally drag this down here as you can see it's getting a little bit better there isn't it so i can bring this down to around about a third of the way up here um and then I'm going to go to the green and do the same. I'll go to adjustments there and add curves and bring the green down here. But this is still pushing out to the end. This is falling off the end of the histogram here. And the histogram is a great way to, to show this. This will tell you how you're doing. Go to the blue and hit curves again. And now I'm going to pull this one down. And eventually, oh look, it's come down here. And in fact, if I just turn off the others, so you can just see the red one. So what you see there, this is red is only taking up this mount, which is why it's only going from black to grey, because we're going to add them up. So the numbers, it only goes to a third, you know, a third plus a third plus a third is one, which is what we want to do. So, you know, we add in the green and we add in the blue and we're getting now to a sensible thing. But now we can go around and control these. We've got space here, so we can play around. So we can say, let's give it a bit more green. Double click on the green uh, control there. Let's add that, turn that up a bit. Put in a bit more because the eye is more sensitive to green and the histogram pushes up there. Got a bit more space. Maybe we'll add a little bit more red because we will leave out the blue because the red's in the face here. And now we can go and, you know, because we've got curves here, we can control this even more. So now we're controlling the proportion of the red across and how it combines with the green and the blue and so on. Always watching the histogram. If it goes past, we can easily pull it back just by pulling the edge down here. 
So this one, it'd be, by the way, if you pull things up, push things up over the top, that's when things are going to fall off the edge. You've got to keep below that level. But you can do whatever controls you want to do to this, brightening areas and, and pulling down areas, but working on individual channels. The, you can, I know you can do something like this in the ordinary curves. This has got a lot more control and you can do other things with it because you've separated them out. You can put adjustments into each of them, which we'll show more of in another video. But for now, here's a way of creating an RGB image, turn it into black and white and control each channel, red, green and blue, very carefully to produce the black and white image you want. Thank you very much for watching.